Hi, I'm Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations. Today, we'll be looking at Dell's 13th generation PowerEdge T630 tower server. Versatile, efficient, and scalable are just some of the adjectives used to describe this system. The T630 is ideal for small to medium-sized businesses and remote offices. It has the flexibility to handle a wide variety of business functions, including email, web, database hosting, server consolidation, VDI, and big data analytics. The T630 supports two Intel Xeon E5 2600 V3 family multi-core processors, the C610 chipset, DDR4 memory, PCIe 3.0, and tiering to deliver peak performance. You can start out with one processor and add another as your business grows. Choose from 19 server-specific Xeon E5 V3 processors starting with a 6-core, 1.65 GHz E5 2603 processor, for ultra performance, the 2.3 GHz E5 2699 offers 45 MB of L3 cache, 3.6 MHz Turbo Boost, and features 18 cores. This translates to 36 virtual cores with Intel's hyperthreading technology. Supported memory speeds are dependent on both the processor speed and the memory speed defaulting to the slowest performer. In order to realize the maximum access speed of 2133 MHz supported by the E5 V3 processors and DDR4 memory requires a higher rated multi-core processor. On the plus side, the new V3 processors use significantly less power and the DDR4 memory modules use about 40 to 50% less energy than the DDR3 modules, translating to lower operational costs with greater performance. An integrated Matrox G200 with iDRAC8 is a standard feature, but the system has room for up to four full-height, full-width 300-watt GPU processing accelerators, two for each processor. The supported graphics card accelerators and coprocessors are used for virtual desktop infrastructure devices and virtualized graphics. Local DVI display connections are not supported. 24 DDR4 memory module sockets are available and support both RDIMMs and LRDIMMs of 1600, 1800, or 2133 MHz. In a single processor configuration, half of the memory slots are available and will support a minimum of 2 GB and a maximum of 768 GB. With a two-processor configuration and all 24 slots filled with 64 gigabyte DIMM modules, up to one and a half terabytes of RAM is available. Depending on your storage needs, the T630 offers two different chassis configurations featuring either SAS or SATA SFF or LFF drives. The LFF chassis supports three different configurations, eight LFF drives, 18 LFF drives, and a combination of eight LFF drives plus four optional PCIe SSDs in a front-mounted flex bay. For performance applications, the SFF drive chassis offers four different storage options, 16 2 half inch drives, 16 2 half inch drives plus four PCIe SSDs and a front-mounted flex bay, 16 2 half inch drives plus an additional 16 SFF drives in the optional flex bay, or up to 32 2 half inch SSD hard drives. 2 half inch SFF drives offer superior performance when compared to the 3 half inch LFF drives. The T630 supports only internal hot swappable hard drives and you should consider your storage needs carefully before purchasing. Several different RAID controllers are supported. The embedded entry level PERC S130 features software managed RAID 0, 1, and 5 and can support up to 8 hot swap SATA drives. The PERC H730P RAID controller has 8 internal ports and delivers 2 PowerPC processor cores with 2 GB non-volatile cache memory. The H730P PowerEdge RAID controller allows you to maximize the performance of SSD hard drives and offers the full range of RAID configurations including RAID 5, 6, 50, 60, and NV. This controller also supports LSI cache cage storage tiering technology for enhanced read-write performance with SSD devices for RAID and support for SATA and SAS drives. The T630 includes seven total PCIe slots with two full-height, full-length 3.0 slots dedicated to each processor. Two PCIe 2.0 slots are also available to support legacy cards. Up to four Express Flash PCIe SSDs can also be installed for performance I.O. requirements, but you need the H730P controller. Optional dual redundant SD card modules can also be used for virtualization. The T630 comes with an embedded Intel dual port 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN on motherboard network interface controller. Several different HBA network cards can also be installed in the PCIe Express slots to provide I.O. processing and a physical connection between the host system, server, storage, and network devices. A host bus adapter can improve the performance of your system by removing dependence on the host microprocessors for both data retrieval and storage tasks. Several different NICs, Fiber Channel HBAs, and SAS HBAs are available depending on your application and configuration. 
Depending on your configuration, choose between platinum rated 495 watt, 750 watt, 1100 watt, or 1600 watt power supplies if you plan on maximizing the storage and PCIe slots. For data center applications, a gold rated 1100 watt DC power supply is available. Redundant fans are recommended if you plan on loading this system with multiple graphics cards, PCIe, SSDs, or if you have 18 LFF drives. The four redundant fans will slide in just behind the storage. The system also uses a plastic baffle to direct air over the processor heat sinks and memory modules. Two big fans located at the back of the unit help to pull cool air through the chassis. Managing the T630 is made easy through Dell's innovative OpenManage suite of management tools which delivers full support for the most popular operating systems and hypervisors. Open Manage, along with Auto Configuration, the Open Manage Essentials Console, and iDRAC 8 make deployment, updates, and ongoing administration easy and less time consuming for administrators. Although you will have to purchase the optional license to remotely connect to the virtual console using Dell's Open Manage mobile Android application. Open Manage Essentials is freely available for download and allows administrators to manage and view multiple Dell servers. Depending on your configuration, the front of the system features an SDV flash card slot, power on button, an MI button for troubleshooting, system identification button, LCD menu button, information tag, LCD panel, USB 2.0 management port, iDRAC direct port, VGA connector, USB 3.0 connector, optical drive or tape drive bay, physical drives, and a flex bay which supports up to four PCIe SSDs or up to 16 two and a half inch hard drives. The VGA connector is only available in the rack mounted version. On the back of the system, you'll find three PCIe expansion card slots on top for processor one, two integrated 10 100 1000 millibit per second NIC connectors, system identification connector, system identification button, iDRAC Enterprise dedicated management port, power supply one, four USB 2.0 connectors, two USB 3.0 connectors, a video connector, serial connector, a second power supply, and four PCIe full height expansion slots for use with a second processor. The T630 is a 5U system that can also be rack mounted using a rail kit. It measures 17 and 1 half inches in height, 8.5 inches in width, and about 28 inches in depth. Supported operating systems include Microsoft Windows Server, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and VMware. This system is highly adaptable to a wide variety of demanding workloads and is a great addition to any small to medium sized business without space for a dedicated server room. As your business grows, this system can grow with you. It offers loads of storage and is 5U rack mountable. We hope you enjoyed our review of the Gen 13 T630. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video if you thought it was informative. If you have any questions, give us a call or leave a comment below. I'm Chris Rodinas for IT Creations and thanks for watching.